Hello, Aristoy. My name is Miss Hurdy, and I am the sixth grade math and science teacher here at Aristoy Classical Academy. Now, for today's communitas, we're going to talk about core value number eight. I am prepared to endure hardship and difficulty in order to become a successful student. Today we're going to be discussing Isaac Newton, and I encourage you all to think of the challenges he faced while pursuing education. And think how you can handle your past, current, and future hardships on your pursuit of education. Isaac was actually born prematurely. When he was still a baby, civil war broke out and his father fought and died for the king. Isaac Newton's mother remarried to a man, but this man did not want Isaac around. It was actually a part of the marriage contract that Newton be sent away. Newton went to live with his grandmother and grandfather and was sent to school, but Newton was miserable being separated from his mother. Later on, Newton's stepfather passed away, so Newton's mother moved back but it is now time for Isaac to be sent to grammar school. While he is there, his room is in the attic. So during Newton's free time, he is reading and making things. He built a kite with a lantern on it, a clock that runs on drips of water, and a tiny windmill that was powered by a mouse. In school, he learns Latin, arithmetic, and elementary surveying. But Newton isn't doing well in school. He is at the bottom of his class. He receives some motivation from a classmate. So Newton starts studying. With studying, Newton actually becomes the top student in his class. Newton studies so much and does so well that he is able to go to Cambridge University as a scholarship student. But Newton is lonely at college. No one really talks to him. He continues to research, turns to books, and seeks truth. He looks to the skies and planets and wonders. His questions are embarking on a new type of math, a math that has not yet been invented at that time. Later on, it would be called calculus. But before he can invent calculus, he buys a book on astrology since a lot of his questions deal with the sky and with stars. But he can't understand it because he doesn't know trigonometry. So he gets a book on trigonometry, but he can't follow that either because he doesn't know geometry. So he gets Euclid's The Elements. He reads and studies and continues to study the various books, which will finally lead him to inventing calculus. As he was sitting in his mother's backyard, Newton observed an apple fall to the ground, which led Newton to come up with the law of universal gravitation. It is actually the force that keeps our feet on the ground and the moon and the planets in their orbit. So as you can see, Newton endured many hardships and difficulties. He experienced loss and isolation, and at some points he even had feelings of despair. But, we, but what we can also see from Nguyen is that we should infuse our life with action. Know that you will have setbacks, hardships, and difficulties in your life, but you make your own future. Not by waiting for grace to fall upon you, but by doing what you can right now. Thomas Edison said, Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Another quote by Helen Keller says, Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. The last thing I would like to leave you with today is to believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Know that life is not fair, but the secret of getting ahead is getting started. Have a great weekend. Be well.